One of the things that always can determine whether or not eruption makes, makes local news or, or international news has nothing to do with the volcano. It it's actually has to do with the Earth's atmosphere. And the jet stream is the main mover of air across uh, most of the North American continent. And at the moment, the jet stream is going essentially right over Pavlov Volcano. It circles into um, central Alaska, then cuts over into the Yukon and British Columbia into Canada, and then comes right down the west coast of the United States before it cuts down from Southern California back across the main part of the United States. So if the ash plume continues to be high enough to get some particulate and gases into the jet stream and the eruption lasts long enough, that material could basically be coming all the way across the United States unless the jet stream changes significantly in the next 24 to 48 hours, which it really isn't projected to do. Most of these kinds of eruptions um, don't last for years uh, continuously. They, they go in spurts, and, and Pavlov is, is quite active. It erupted um, just a few years ago, had some more small eruptions. Um, typically, these volcanoes will erupt and maybe be very active for a few days. And depending on the, the episode of the eruption, it may be that it's, it's on and off for a few weeks. But typically, this sort of eruption doesn't, doesn't last continuously for months on end. So we wouldn't expect it to go on too long, and, and especially um, the sort of activity that we're seeing right now. However, this is one of the, one of the issues right now in Alaska has been that um, these volcanoes in, in Alaska, and there are, there are dozens of volcanoes that, that are active and, and can be active in Alaska, they're in very remote places, so monitoring of these volcanoes is very difficult and relatively expensive. And this is always an issue when the, when the government especially is uh, trying to be conservative with how it spends money. But this is sort of a, a prime example as to why monitoring these remote volcanoes where maybe only a few people live is very important because if you have an eruption when the jet stream is in the right position, it really can be uh, even an eruption that, that locally doesn't do that much damage or an, an eruption in a place where there's not much to damage can cause really long, long range problems for things like air travel.